This will be quite interesting for me. As you heard, I have a broken Sami language and I will try my second broken language, English. Uh, so I hope you understand me and please bear with me if I, if it's so and so. Um, Birgisten Sara, you are the chair of Yuiki Servi. Not anymore, no, but you have been. And you are a Yoigi. And uh, Yoigan and Luhti has been a big European cultural, um, how should I say, practice since 1600 something, 1700 something. It has also been banned and tried to be quiet down. And um, has has many shapes. What, how will you describe the situation for the Yoigi today? Det <laughs> Man <laughs> 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 Det märks sedan att jag i detta låt jag jag kan det alla hur bor det? Må är limis alla mäl med bor det låt i. Men det är det också då att det mån här ledan att det låt i jag är sant med att skala gå sådant att det bara sen jag är inte alls mot som jag mån här ledan bara. Jag nu bilar det att det må inte lite i era i det väl gett att det lägger det här. Men det sant med att skala att det mån var och han Mm. As um, Birit Ristensara was talking about Joik, it's up and living. I told a short story that it's been banned. And I'm thinking about you, Ola Stinnerbom, about Sami dance. Similar situation or how will you describe? Uh, yes, in, in my work, I'm, I'm working with the Sami Yoik as well, but, but I'm trying to put the Yoik in my body. And, and my vision is to, to be able to dance the Yoik in silence. So you can say that the, the Yoik in the body is, is different movement who, who are starting at different, at different time and, and in, in, in both ways. This is really a hardcore dance uh, uh, way, way of working with the modern modern dance, but it's easy for me to. I will show you. We probably should say that you are a professional dancer. Yeah. You've been leading the dance company in Nomad. Yeah. And you have been doing a lot of research on the Sami dance that somehow was vanished, but not. 
And now, uh, when I have found the Sami dance, I'm, I'm working to, to put the yoik in my body. And that means that if I start the, the movement in my elbow, I simultaneously move my hip in, in, in split directions. And the same time, I'm starting with my knees and then put every different uh, qualities in, in the sound in my body. And then you have the joy. Mm. Just that. <laughs> mm. So if you want, we can have a dance out there. And I will show you. But anyhow, you have been very alone, I think, for a long, long time. Now we have uh, choreographers, we have dancers and, and things like that. It hasn't been always that easy with to being a Sami dancer and try to, to how should, I don't want to use a kind of word like rediscover, is that a word? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, in, 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 the, in the Sami community, I am, I'm known as the man who are working with things that don't exist. Mm. And uh, for, for about a few years ago, I was up in Kodagainu, uh, Kautokainu, and, and it was an old man coming and, and wanted to talk to me. And he, he, he has been following me, and he, 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 he didn't understand. But why are you working with this Sami dance? Are you gay man? No, 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 no. And then I don't understand no more. And then he left. So the the, the biggest issue is when when I'm working with the Sami dance is is to to get through to the elder in in the Sami communities because the it has been so hard to to live as a Sami because the the state and the the church has been banned the, the yoik and the drumming and the dance so hard that, that, that so many people are still uh, believe that, that we don't have any mu musicians, we have never been played, we don't have any drum, and the drum is, is not a, mu a musician, it, it, no, it's not an instrument, and the dance has nev never been in our culture. And w when I started, I said that if we are supposed to be the only people in the world that don't dance, we don't have any music, we don't have any, we don't understand music and we're not dancing. In that case, we have two kind of people in the world. We have human who can dance and joke, and then we have the Sami people. They don't understand anything. Yeah. And then I started and, and now, yeah, it's easier to talk about the Sami mov movement and the Sami dance. Hmm. You're talking about elders, um, you're talking to elders to get the information, and I think that's also your field. When you're, you're a movie maker, producer, least producing a Sami Blood movie, huge success. Congratulations. And um, that story is based on, on uh, what the elders have been telling. And um, I know you are a great promoter of Sami stories in, in uh, different kind of ways. So my question now, to be a Sami move maker, is it a golden age now? Will everyone talk to you so we can get in the movie? It's, um, there is a lot of gold diggers. So in that case, it's a golden age. And the gold diggers are out for our stories. They want to take them and uh, make them into their own, uh, to money to put in their own pockets. So that's a very big difference maybe between uh, a lot of other art forms and, and film, because film use uh, or in collaboration with art forms to, to make our stories come alive. And uh, new film is also very, uh, resource needing uh, activity, especially if you want to make feature film or fiction. And that means that you need uh, to collaborate, you need good friends, you need good, uh, uh, we call them, um, uh, well, collaborators mm. that are not Sami, mm. because the system is built in a certain way, and the film industry is very, uh, it's very, um, it has been quite uh, 
the business of the rich and the 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 uh, adel mm. of the people. So now it's a very big movement globally with indigenous film because the film industry has been a bit democratized uh, in a way. So now we can start to find uh, our collaborators outside of the Swedish system. Mm. And that's how we also can con start to control the narrative uh, from start to finish. Uh, and I recently started to work with the project and I reached out to, to Steven. And we have found a collaborator, indigenous uh, co-producer in Canada for a project. So the film industry has uh, a potential to be global, but it's also when people realize that our stories are fantastic. Uh, look at Disney, mm. what they have done. Mm. They made uh, Frozen. Uh, very, 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 very much inspired <laughs> by the Islamic culture. Mm. So, um, but then again, when we go back to the local and and the small, where everything starts, when people start to want wants to make stories come alive on the screen, yeah, I mean that's when we need the Sami support and we need the support to develop projects within the Sami community because then that's when the stories that then later might be big films evolve. Is that also a kind of a methodology, I think, a bit about indigenous movies, that we are community-based, we like to be a more collective? Yeah, so that, that's, uh, that's actually, uh, I think that can be, uh, I think it's a very good uh, possibility to, to make some, uh, big Sami uh, productions that only have Sami crew mm -hmm. from the start to finish. The system is not there for that yet. But what, what I was saying is we, we, we need uh, good partners and good collaborators without, uh, outside of the Sami system, but it's, ver it's more expensive to, to develop Sami films because in the beginning you, always, you need the, your, your core team to, to, uh, because you have the common understanding of the culture. But then sooner or later you need to bring in outsiders. And that means you need to develop your, your project almost twice. Mm. So... Uh, and maybe some yeah. guidelines and things like that. Exactly. That's mm. a very good point. <laughs> guidelines. So, sorry. <laughs> sorry, you should say No, we haven't rehearsed <laughs> this, but you have, you have absolute, absolutely right. There are guidelines uh, for non-Sami or for non-indigenous people in Australia that they use can be uh, that they need to read before they can get grants if they want to make films within the, the Aboriginal community in Australia. Mm -hmm. And that is something that uh, we are actually looking at in the Sami film industry. Mm -hmm. uh, before we call, go on talking here, I should do the proper Sami manner and uh, saying that Birgis is from Karashoka in the Norwich side. You're from Volchere, no? Should I say Volchere? Are you from Volchere or should I say, where do you think you are from? <laughs> Sorry, my, my it wasn't, okay. And before, while you, before you answer, I will also say that Oscar is from Derana. Mm. Okay. Um, I'm coming from Vilhelmina Nora Samebi. And I'm 100% Sami and 100% Swedish at the same time. Mm. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that was a good explanation. Mm. Uh, gold digging. Being a gold digger and a writer, Johan Sara, uh, Sara but uh, Sandberg McGinney, um, you are a writer and a translator. Uh, you released a book or launched a book yesterday. Beowulf from Sydsamisk, I should, I think that's a great new news we have here. Um, Sami writer, writing on Sami languages. You are the, how sh what were they called? Golden diggers. You're saying there's a lot of money in writing in Sami. <laughs> um, yes, of course, we, we write and you find us all over the place and and no, uh, I think the reality, if you're a Sami writer, 
uh, you write because you want to have your voice heard. Uh, it's not so much about money because there really isn't any money in uh, this industry, especially if you come from the Swedish side of the border. Um, I was looking over the last couple of years, and I should say as well that I last year I was the uh, the president of the Sami Writers um, Association, Chalikwahta, which was launched last year as an attempt to establish an institution on the Swedish side of the border um, for Sami literature, just because of the fact that we've had some horrible, horrible numbers and on the Swedish side uh, of the border in terms of literature. Um, it used to be the case that we only got like one book in a Sami language, any of the Sami languages every five years. And most writers realized that there's no future for them on the Swedish side of the border. So they moved or they, maybe they didn't physically move, but they took their knowledge, their writing skills and they went to Norway because in Norway there's, you know, structures and everything. Uh, that we don't really have here. So we've started to change that and we want to kind of make sure that there is an arena for Sami literature. And for me, it's incredibly important that we start to realize that without um, public funding, without an institution that is there that you don't have to, you know, reinvent every three years because everything we do in SAPME is project-based. Everything we do is project-based and we have to, you know, look for money and if I then start a project, it's for like three years and the SAMI parliament, they do their utmost to help all these projects. But you know, if it's for the short term, we're never gonna find ourselves in a position where literature or music or whatever it is, is strong enough to stand on its own two legs. So, um, but for me, writing um, is a way to strengthen the language as well. And obviously I'm speaking in English now, but um, when I'm writing, I'm using a number of languages. I'm using South Sami, I'm using Gaelic, and I'm using English and Swedish. And those are the languages I work with as a translator as well. Um, but for me, it's important that we have literature because it's our way of being able to tell our own story about what we want to see from from um, our own communities as a way to talk about hard issues it's a way to tell people that you know your stereotypes about us they might not be right and it doesn't really matter if someone's writing in a sami language or if they're writing in swedish as long as that voice is a sami voice uh, so literature for me is just as yoik is a way of telling our stories, as film is, as dancing is, and art. Literature is one of our many ways of expressing our voice and telling our story for ourselves, from ourselves, from our community, within our community, to uh, the rest of the world. I think you, Anderson, uh, who is, um, oh, what is he called, Daitar? Uh, artist, yes, sorry, artist. <laughs> you are all artists, yes. Um, I think you started or expressed maybe in your pictures, in your exhibitions, the things that they have maybe sometimes felt being a Sami artist, I mean, the anger. You put the anger on the pictures and show that this is this is how it looked like. Yes. You dared that. Uh, we were just thinking <laughs> about, but you were actually doing that. Yes, and, and before I answer more that question, I just want to say that on the screen it's saying cultural political tough meeting. And we had the cultural minister here for a while, mm -hmm. and when she had s spoken what she, she'd been saying, and then she left the Labo. Yes, and so that's, actually that's listening. A, that's a colonial structure that mm. they only listen to their own voice, mm. and then they're leaving the place. And how can they even start understanding us if they're leaving the place all the time and not listening? Mm. Uh, so that, uh, 
it's a really good thing to think about. So you are already angry now? Of course. <laughs> uh, and yeah. So, and that's very, very important when you're making art or picture or whatever. That uh, it's a, like a gray, gray uh, zone that you can be very aggressive, very like you can get everything out that you have inside you uh, without hurting anybody physical. Uh, it depends in, in what kind of performance we will make, but uh, that's the main thing. And also that you don't have to have a language, you don't have to use always your voice, uh, you don't have to be a politician, you can speak directly with the feeling with the, to reach their heart at once. You don't have like a bunch of paper like read this to know more. Directives. Yes, mm -hmm. so it's more like you get the feeling first and then you want to know more. Um, and I think the art has been uh, the closest that the Sami can have on military army because that's our uh, weapon in this, uh, against this colonial structure. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think when we have been listening to you now, then we have understood that Sami is a professional place for the art. It is. We have established that by your listening to you. Uh, we have also understood that, that being an artist or a Sami artist, so and so, sometimes you are an artist, sometimes you are a Sami artist. You need to put that in front. But it's not important as I understood you. And then I think about Sweden as a cultural arena. Is it, how shall I say, um, well, uh, you have to help me now, Johan. You probably know this, Uutnyttjad, as a stage for... An untapped resource. Yes. Okay, are you talking about the Swedish yes. arena? Yes, that Sweden having this arena, and here are five professionals. Um, how I, um, is that that this arena is not used enough? Or the bad word only for the exotic artist? And I will start with you. Um, I think I think you're onto something when you say that the Swedish state as a whole, as a colonial system, it loves to use the Sami to showcase something exotic, uh, which then you don't really need to deal with later. Uh, it also shows when we look at literature, we have some brilliant writers, and when they write in Sami, their voice is very often ignored, even if they're telling the same story that you can find and works written by Sami writers in Swedish. Because of this, you also find people saying that, oh, the Sami, they've never talked about this. Oh, that's not a discussion amongst the Sami. Because they haven't read the works in a Sami language. Um, and then they dismiss it as if we don't have our own system, our own uh, society where we discuss these issues. So uh, the government or the state as a whole, they want pieces that they can show and say, oh, we've, we've, you know, we've partaken in this, it's there, it's nice, and then they move on. They want this that is easy to sell to outsiders or to the uh, majority, but not the hard parts that we have in our own discussions, in our own languages, in our own communities. And I mean, obviously, it doesn't have to be in a Sami language, but we're not even listened to most of the time. And when we are listened to then we get these kind of headlines where it says, oh, the angry Sami, they said this. My turn, Jorge, Pirgis and Sara. Lago that no. Shut the comi, the kachapes, taitara, where the comi that herava. Yo, me hangal huida, ya herava, ya jambelis kal, onion, at the ladikas. Talano, erenamos, talano, aretet. Tony Adde, 
Olu yeralda bok na mia le, mia le da loch. Tin muist al chili ki mia le. Ja lihka da lihks tuva. Jo. Da le bere no anja loch ti galla elan du ha hi ja i loch ti bata elli da le bere ne. Mohto della de usta ha to dunga Alks kommun alekin laddi alde joik. Mun jutsina atte luhti dalla mu daita mun bare lavkin lauda ja de joikstan ja de ad adju adki adde ja gi adde datte dalla bare ne. Mohto de shatta nu atte mun imballin la bare dusche istun dusche daita mun shatta da kami chilig muistalit tal ai kummon jo eika tan ja mia tal le ja alks vaste kar hui kuks chiliki tekar chiliki no si ja de aska porta det telane alks nda mi muistala de sa le ci bir ja de lam taiter e ni amodalan shadam para katanya ke jam bar kun kola le na tal anu era na mas muhto Tan kal tehta atte ko joiks to tan kal tan kal vih kolusa di tatte dalla dalle saamela sto ni ta muista de tai atte kulla saamela gina. Ta lutsu var alle mele gidras eksperimenta jos rappartista aks chokka ja muista la son rappa mi at la motta ga dakta ni de rappa ta lutsu var alle er nomas. Oskar Östergren jaita. Asami movie about something sad on South Sami. We're talking about Sami blood. You heard that. Is this actually something we should fund? Who is interested to watch Sami blue? Now we know the answer. Your thoughts about this exotic and uh, well, of, of course, it's an uh, untapped resource. Thank you for that uh, word. <laughs> uh, and uh, I think, uh, well, if you take Sommerblad as, as an example, uh, of course, it was uh, the knowledge and the experience that the Swedish people didn't know that they uh, lacked. And it, it turned uh, some of them into uh, wanting, needing more and wanting more, both some culture and knowledge and uh, so I mean it's not a coincidence that the Sami culture is low funded it's a very very uh, 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 I mean it's 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 just as under said it's our weapon mm -hmm. and uh, when people have knowledge they can't make themselves un knowing so uh, and also i want to add that for us it's uh, it, we have a global indigenous arena that is very i mean it's so um, obvious for us and if you don't enter the Sami culture from the swedish society you don't you, you miss out on the the whole world mm -hmm. in that sense and a lot of it is like like the Vuelias and the, the Joiks, it's, uh, it's the, the core of being human. So I think it's a Western problem uh, in, and a fear. Um, as being a presenter, I'm concerned about the time. It's my job to keep the time. And I have two speakers here and we have one minute. Do you want to comment on this? Yes, please. Yes. Short. Short. Okay. Yeah. The, the biggest problem is that the Swedish government and the state and culture that all, always want to put us in, in the minority box. And always we must stand up and, and stand up for our rights as a indigenous people and native people. Because w when, when I'm trying to do, do my dance productions, they always try to put me in, in, in the minority box. and, and it's 1.4 million for every five groups, and it's nothing. Mm. It's really bad. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, that's the why our culture hierarchy. That's like uh, the word for all of this. Both the uh, Oscar Sayan and uh, Stigmaborn also. That, and we are the, like the lowest in this hierarchy. And if you take like a Swedish artist or filmmakers, they're like 
here. And if you have that going on, and then even the people thinking, oh, we would, I don't know what we want to see a Sami movie or Sami art or music or nothing. Mm -hmm. I will thank you all for being so interesting and so sharp in your um, point of view. So thank you for this talk.